What's that big dirty square on the wall? Oh, that. It's where the relief used to be. What's a relief? You mean, what a relief? Let me fill you in. We have some pretty amazing old art here at SPMS. A couple years ago, some people started to raise money to restore and protect the wall relief. So why does that explain the dirty, empty space on the wall? The dirty space is where a 500-pound cast stone sculpture used to hang. Why do we have that at our school? It was made in 1933 by an artist from San Diego named Donald Horde. Trippy name, old school. No doubt. He named the artwork CCC Workers. What does CCC stand for? Civilian Conservation Corps. Well, that's not really helpful. Relax. I'll explain. When Franklin Roosevelt became president during the Great Depression, he began two programs to help people. One was the CCC, and the other was the WPA. LOL. Nice work, FDR. But what's that got to do with SPMS? The Civilian Conservation Corps was the place where young guys could get work, education, and job skills, and stay healthy. Okay, so what in the world in the WPA? <laughs> It stands for FDR's Work Projects Administration. Meaning? Roosevelt wanted to pay artists to make art for public places, like post offices and schools. Great idea! How did he come up with that? He heard that in Mexico, artists like Diego Rivera were painting murals in public school buildings for an hourly wage. Sounds like a win-win to me. Yes! So let me get this straight. CCC Workers was WPA piece of art? Yeah! Donald Horde, a WPA sculptor from San Diego, made it out of cast stone. Bet you don't know the difference between a relief and a sculpture. Bet you do. A sculpture is a piece of art you can walk around, and a relief is attached to a wall. This must explain the black space on the wall. Somebody took our relief! Calm down. It was carefully removed by an art conservator. How did they get that heavy thing off the wall? Carefully, of course. A special frame was made, and once the pieces were removed from the two little steel rods that held it were carefully cut, a forklift carried it away. What? I wish I could have seen that. I know, huh? It happened this summer. Check out these pics of the relief rolling down the hall and onto the truck. Now fast forward to November 2011, when the restored relief was brought home to SPMS. What do the conservationists do? Well, they took off the old paint for one thing. Paint? Yeah, someone had covered it with house paint and then later sandblasted it. Yikes, that must have been hard on it. For sure. That's where the conservator had to be so careful. Oh yeah, just fix what's wrong and don't make it worse. Sort of like that. Whoa, it had its own go-kart. This cart kept it safe while it was being moved. So where is it going and where is it now? To its new home in the lobby of the auditorium. Good idea. Our auditorium is really old and pretty sweet looking. For sure. It was built in 1928 by Norman Foote Marsh, a really important architect who specializes in designing schools. Amazing! That was 84 years ago. I bet the students were just as excited to have a new auditorium as they were to finally get our new gym and library this fall. So the good news is that the relief is now clean, safe, and is ready for us to look at it. Wow, that looks so cool. I bet it costs a lot of money to fix. Yep, but the PTA and other people donated money to restore the relief. Then the National Trust for Historic Preservation gave SBMS grant money to complete the job. Do we have to pay them back? No, it was a gift. How great is that? Look, some guys are wrestling. And there are some cooks watching. Sure are. Do you see them building a road on the left? Watch out for the rattlesnake. When you look carefully, you see all kinds of men are help, were helped by the CCC. They look like a lot of different kinds of people, just like the kids here at SVMS. Look, the conservator signed the wall behind the relief. But what's the story of the other art around here? Thought you'd never ask. The hoard relief is just one of the great pieces of art here in the auditorium. I've seen that big painting over the stage in the auditorium. That's the Madonna of the Covered Wagon, and it was painted in 1928 by Lucille Lloyd. But do you know about the missing murals? More missing art? You make me crazy. A Cali artist named Millard Sheets painted three murals in 1932 called The Farm, The Harbor, and The City. Look at that old pic of typical middle school kids in the 1930s. Trippy, huh? It was called a junior high then. 
Well, I know there are no murals here now. It's really sad. They were painted over in the 1970s. Drag? Why would they do that? Who knows, but folks hope to restore them.